there. So today I'm going to teach you how you can have access or subscribe to someone else's calendar so you would understand what are their whereabouts. So this is typically applicable for a VA who wants to have access to his clients, to his or to her clients um, calendar. So I'm going to show you that in a few seconds. Okay. Um, nandito tayo ngayon sa aking Google Calendar. And as you can see, this is just my calendar reminders task and holidays in the Philippines. Now, I wanted to access the calendar schedule of unis at paystaff.com.au, which is my working email address. So, I'll go ahead and do that. So, punta kayo dun sa cogwheel, which is yung settings. Click that. And then, go to add calendar. So, dito sa left side yun. So, oh, that's my teammate. Okay, add calendar and then go ahead and click on subscribe to a calendar. Okay, and then type the email of the person or the client. So, for me, it's unis at paystaff.com.au. Okay, so ayan, permission integrated calendar and then that's it i have the permission to view it but this will not happen if first time nyo tong ginawa mangyayari is kasi nagawa ko na siya previously so for first timers you will receive an email sa, sa email nyo um with that person accessing yung ano yung inyong calendar so you have to visit your email para mabigyan ng access yung taong nagre-request. In that case, the client will approve your request of access and then you will have the access to his calendar. So, just like that, nakita nyo, nandito na siya sa other's calendar. So, ayan, I have 10.30 a.m. scheduled today and 3 p.m. tomorrow. That's under Unisa pay staff. Okay, have an access to your client's calendar. So have a great day. This is your admin Unis and bye for